Feminist groups in Honduras protested in front of a Supreme Court after a feminist leader was found guilty of defamation. Here you are, our correspondent's report. Feminist leader Gladys Lanza has been found guilty on the charges of defamation against a public official Juan Carlos Reyes and is facing up to four years in prison and being barred from being part of political organizations. However, her defense says that this is not the end of the trial. The court has already made the announcement. She was declared guilty. Now what is left to do is to decide how many years she will be condemned to prison for the crime of defamation and barred from civil activism. That will be decided by the trials court, but obviously that's not where the process ends. We will appeal the law and appear before the judges of the criminal division. Feminists from the Visitación Padilla organization demonstrated in front of the Supreme Court after the verdict the initial charges against Lanza was only defamation, but now the prosecution has also put forward charges of gender crimes against his client, claiming that Lanza is attacking him because he is a man. This would add two more years on the possible four-year sentence. For the regional feminist movement, this means a criminalization of the defense of women's rights, and that is clear now. They are taking out their claws. Now the prosecution is adding new charges for the crime of discrimination because he is a man. We can see how the laws and institutions that were initially meant to protect minorities are being inverted and used against the most vulnerable people, while the high rates of impunity for crimes continue. The judge announced that the final verdict that includes how many years Gladys Lanza will have to go to prison will be given on March 6. After this date, the feminist leader will have one last opportunity to try to avoid a prison sentence. Meanwhile, the Honduran feminist movement assures that they won't remain silent. Gerardo Torres, Telesur, Central America.